So hello everybody. Hey guys, it's me, the excellent reviewer Samuel Lee. I decided to take away. You know, let's let's do a little takeaway and and do something a little bit different on the channel. And that's the fact. You know, with every with all this sad news that's been going on, I decided I wanted to you know hopefully take you guys away from it and do a video showing all of my wrestling memorabilia and the merch that I have acquired over the years and figure, you know, just be a cool little thing to show you guys. Um, so without further ado, let's do it. These, I wanted to lump together. This is a true champion, a Hulk Hogan story. It stars all the wrestlers from the golden era of WWF. It's a long read. I read some of it. There's a, they pulled a, what's it called? Um, a fake Undertaker, there's a fake Hulk Hogan, uh, and Bobby the Brain Heenan, of course, is behind it. This fake Hulk Hogan takes over, starts doing bad things, like he won't sign autographs. Uh, it's just one of those campy stories. Hulk Hogan, help! We need you! And he goes back and he beats the fake Hulkster. Great story, great story, Hulk Hogan. Never doing the job, but always going over. Um, and these right here, I read some of them, but not all of them, because this is not just one. It's multiple WWE comics. They basically take over the storylines and animate them. Like, as you can see, here's the 30, here's the WrestleMania, was it 33? I think it was 33. Danny Bryan's comeback. AJ Style, and there it goes. AJ Styles against uh, John Cena at SummerSlam. Here's a SummerSlam special edition. Seth Rollins winning the title. Another one on Seth Rollins. And here's one on Dino. John Moxley. Here's one on Roman. And this is my favorite one, this next one coming up. Because it's clearly... There's the other one. It's clearly spawning off of uh, The Dark Knight Returns. Except instead of Batman, you have Roman Reigns. Because Roman must get over. Damn it. Uh, I love it so much. So over here is my collection of signed 8x10s. Tiny little collection. Uh, over here, Jamie Senegal. Independent wrestler. If you, if you don't know Jamie Senegal, Jamie's phenomenal as a wrestler. Uh, love seeing Jamie wrestle all the time. This is Siri. All I'm gonna say is if you know who Siri is, you know who she is. And over here we have Naito, Met Tetsuya Naito, Super J Cup 2019, and that's his little figure right there. Got that on the New Japan shop that just launched for, um, that just launched uh, not too long ago. And we're gonna take a little do detour down here because I have some more. 8x10s over here. We have Kota Ibushi. Met him. He's also a really nice and humble guy. Uh, Minoru Suzuki, the big bad murder daddy himself. Minoru Suzuki, uh, also tremendously nice. And to cap it all off, TJ Perkins, uh, also phenomenal guy, nice guy. And they're all really nice to meet. Um, the reason these haven't been hanged yet is because I don't have a spot on the wall for them just quite yet but don't worry I'll get them really soon so over here aside from my fish we have an extensive library of VHS tapes uh, all sorts of VHS tapes that I've either found from thrift stores or how I got a majority of these ones these are um, uh, that have been recorded uh, my sister used to work at a um, at a bookstore, a dollar bookstore, and they would bring in all of these old tapes. So that's how I got into possession of In Your House, Fully Loaded, Royal Rumble, and now it's all like, it's all sort of useless since we have the WWE Network, but I thought it'd be something a little fun to show. Uh, Sting, Back in Black, these documentaries on um, Sting and various members of WWE, not just WWE, but in WCW, like, Kevin Nash, Goldberg, uh, right here, this one about China and Triple H, which is one of my favorites. Um, I acquired this collection over the vast majority of years. I still have a VHS player. Um, and No Holds Barred, I found at a thrift store, uh, starring Hulk Hogan, one of the worst 
movies that I have heard. One of the worst wrestling movies I've ever heard. I actually have not seen it. Uh, I plan to at least one day, and who knows, maybe we'll do a review of it on the channel. Um, I got all this stuff throughout the years. Uh, all of these are phenomenal if you can find them in this dying age of VHS. Uh, but yeah, I have all of these. <laughs> over here, we placed the DVDs over here with my wrestling DVD collection. Bret Hart and all this TNA stuff because uh, at a point in time I was into TNA thinking that they were going to be the next big competition for WWE and well we all know how that turned out. WrestleMania 26, Best of Smackdown 2009-2010, the sole reason why I got this DVD was because there was a match on it, Drew McIntyre versus uh, Undertaker and the reason I got it because I was at that event. Shawn Michaels story, Shawn versus Brett, Shawn Michaels, my journey, condemned SummerSlam 2010, only reason I got this one was because, guess again, I was there, Mysterio, ECW, unreleased, Rey Mysterio, uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy, XPW, Retribution, Roman Reigns, iconic matches, uh, I got that one, my best friend sent me a picture that was at Walmart, and then I went to go get it, because it was like five bucks, and Rise and Fall ECW, Mania 22, uh, Rise and Fall ECW, Best Matches 2009, 2010, Chris Jericho, and One Night Stand. It, again, like I said, with uh, pretty much the invention of the network, these are sort of like pointless to have, but I like to have them um, because like it's just a nice collecting thing. I don't know, I prefer physical over, you know, over uh, digital. If I can have it physically, I'll get it physically. Uh, cause there's just something about it, you know? I like to have things physically as opposed to digitally. But yeah, this is my DVD collection over right, right over here. here. I felt as though needed its own little section. As what this is, is a sponge. Right there, as you can see. It is a sponge of Kazuchika Okada. And, uh, there he is, a little rainmaker right there in the sponge. They were selling this at the first, uh... New Japan event that I ever went to G1 special in USA and holy cow um, this was uh, something special I was very I had very little money at the time but I had enough money because they were selling these for three bucks and I had enough money to buy this and I figured why not <laughs> figure why not you know um, it's one of the most I don't think I've I have never seen wrestling sponges before. Uh, they also had one of Tanahashi, but unfortunately, I went out of the venue to get something to eat because this was before uh, the show started. Came back in for the show, and they were all sold out of Tanahashi sponges. And that's one of the biggest regrets in my life, and it still keeps me up at night to this very day. But at least I got the Okada one. Over here is like a little, I guess it could be used as a tapestry. But over here, uh, little fabric thing of The Rock. Him clotheslining Triple H, suplexing Val Venus. Uh, they found this. My sisters found this um, at one of those donation centers that, you know, that are out there. And they happened to find this. And I've had it ever since. And that was, like, a long time ago. But, yeah, thought it was nice cool little addition to the collection that I have of Dwayne. So over here I have tiny little wrestling buddies, Triple H. I don't know if you can hear it. You press it, he says, I am the game. This one's a little less. The battery's worn on it. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Plays his theme song. This one says, I'm the game. And this right here is Joey Ryan, if you don't know. I got this at Bar Wrestling. If you've ever been to Bar Wrestling here in LA, then you will definitely know that he sells these. And I just, I love merchandise that you can't get anywhere else. And so these are my little wrestling buddies over here. And over here, my wrestling video game collection, WrestleMania 19 on the GameCube. If you haven't played it, this game's phenomenal. There's a story mode where you get back at Vince and you throw people off of buildings who are his workers. It's phenomenal. Day of Reckoning, the Day of Reckoning series. How can you forget that? It's phenomenal. 
Legends of Wrestling 2 is better than the first one, Legends of Wrestling, in my opinion. Legends of Wrestling 2 had Owen Hart in it, I believe. Legends of Wrestling, it's alright, but it's not the best wrestling game I've ever played. Just Bring It, phenomenal game. I actually have not played Hulk Hogan's main event quite yet. Uh, maybe one day we'll do a review of it on the channel if uh, you guys want to see that. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, 8, 9, 12 to 17. Uh, I, I don't know how to say this. I mean, like, I enjoyed 12 and 13. 14 was also good, but I don't know. It's just like, since it's a wrestling simulator, it stopped becoming a little bit fun, especially with 17 and the NXT story mode. You sort of just like grind and do the same matches over and over again. So it gets a little tedious and boring. Um, TNA, Impact Cross the Line, played the shit out of this game. Great game, especially on the PSP. And at 10 bucks, I was like, I had to get it, you know? I had phenomenal time playing this game. And All Stars is phenomenal. If you haven't played All Stars, you need to play All Stars like right now. Um, it's very arcadey. And that's the whole point is that it's arcadey. Um, and I loved, I loved playing that game. They tumble. And last one, TNA Impact Wrestling on the DS. It sounds exactly how you would think TNA Impact on the DS would play. <laughs> uh, they had, they, uh, they even came out with the SmackDown vs. Raw series on DS, some of them, and I have some of them, but I just can't find them. But don't underestimate TNA Impact. Cross the line. Give it a thumbs up. Next up, we have my tiny little uh, wrestling CD and little tape collection. Uh, WDF. The music volume four, forcible entry. The originals where all of them sing their own entrances. John Cena sings, uh, Kurt Angle, the I don't suck, I don't suck. And then this also comes with DVD over here that you can uh, see like the special behind the scenes of how they made uh, you know, each track. And I know you, you sort of, want to see the big one hulk hogan and the wrestling boot band i found this as a kid um in a thrift store and i i, I loved wrestling and i saw this and i i was like oh it's hulk hogan i have to get it it's hulk hogan this album is so bad it's awful <laughs> they more than likely have it up on youtube I Want to Be a Hulkamaniac was probably my favorite one. Um, oh, this is just... It's so bad that it's good. I listened to this on a road trip once, and it was awful. <laughs> but yeah, this is my tiny little uh, wrestling music collection right here. We have some more LIJ and New Japan merch over here. This was a tiny little... Yes, that's, these are the buses that they drive to each show. And it's, I thought it was cool and I had to, I had to get it. And this one here is probably one of my favorites. These are boxers that resemble Tetsuya Naito's tights. If you, as you can see right there. They're supposed to wear uh, LIJ, Tetsuya Naito. You wear them and it makes you feel like Naito. Like, as soon as I saw these, I was like, I like I said, I love out of the ordinary wrestling merch. And New Japan is big on their towels. So, of course, give me a second. Of course, we had to get the LIJ official towel right over here. And on the back side, we have the insignia along with the members of the group, except for Shingo, because this was made when he was not, when he was not with L.I.J. But yeah. And over right here we have Daryl. Of course if you know New Japan Pro Wrestling you know of Daryl. Um, he is you know like awesome. Um, if you really wanted one I got this one on Amazon after they sold out at a New Japan show that I went to. Um, if you really want one you can find it on Amazon for sure. Over here I have my Funko Pop collection of wrestlers i didn't want to stand on the chair because it's a swivel chair and if i fall i'm gonna hit my head 
So, right there, Big E, Kofi, Shawn Michaels, Goldberg, Cody Rhodes, Enzo and Cass, Becky Lynch, and The Undertaker. And uh, in the back over there are most of my wrestling autobiographies that I've had over the years. But I, again, I don't want to get on the swivel chair and fall and crack my skull open. Um, but I do have one readily available right over here, which is Brock, sorry, the group, Brock Lesnar's Death Clutch. If you haven't read it, it's good, it's cheap. You can get it on Amazon for like six bucks. Good story. It's a great story. It tells about basically pretty much how Brock Lesnar came to be the person that he is. And there's a lot of misconceptions that comes along. And this is like a fun little ride inside Brock Lesnar's mind. So aside from this, my Funko Pop collection of wrestling figures. This right here, aside from Sonic, is like my tiny little figure collection. I got into collecting these because um, they were at Walmart uh, and they were a dollar. And every time I went to Walmart, I just happened to see one that I didn't have. And I picked them up. There's Bray Wyatt, Sasha, Bailey, Roddy Piper, Kevin Owens. I have two Brock Lesnar's. This is one from this line, and this is another one. It's, um, it's funny because it looks nothing like Brock Lesnar. And this one doesn't even have his tattoo of the sword. Um... Uh, this is a different line, Rock, Cena, Reigns. Um, out of all of these, I found all of them. And at first I was able to find this one and it took me the longest amount of time just to find this one. And it's the proudest one that I have in my collection because it took so long for me to find after I found, uh, after, you know, I didn't get him. It took so long to find him and I finally found him. Fergal Devitt. But yeah, nice little figure collection right over here. And over here we have a tiny little collection of hats. We have Bullet Club. Underneath is a Groot one. But over here we have The Mon, Becky Lynch. Now The Mon. My favorite out of all of them though are this one right here. My LIJ hat. Uh, they sell them now at the Global Tokon Shop online if you wanted to get yourself one. LIJ right there. And underneath is the final one the king of strong style himself shinsuke nakamura i had to get it because i'm a huge nakamura fan before wwe ruined him although i still support him but yeah my tiny little cap collection right over here come on we have these big guys this is one of the uh i didn't even know i had this until like years ago when we found it cleaning the garage and this is you know those old school uh kevin nash like you know those old school hulk hogan and uh ultimate warrior beat him up buddies you beat him up and he says things but this it's been a long time but he used to he his day he doesn't work anymore the voice chip died but it used to say that's too sweet and stuff like that from wcw of course the hulkster Hulkster himself in living color. NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And this right here, in case you couldn't tell, is Seamus. I don't know where on earth he looked like that. I know that he had spiked hair, and this isn't spiked hair. <laughs> but yeah, nice little wrestling figures. Little stuffed stuff figures over here and over here we have no your eyes are not being deceived but before we get into this guy uh this was a necklace of sting because i got this on the uh fox debut of smackdown uh sting was supposed to be there if you look back on the pictures and the ads he was advertised but just like my father he never showed up so I bought this because I thought it was going to be there, and well, we know what happens there. And it's still something that pisses me off a little bit, and I'm not quite over it. But we get over here to the Vince McMahon puppet with the devil horns himself. It's such good shit, bro. Uh, I saw this, and they were selling it, uh, same event, and I was like, I had to buy it. Because uh, have you ever seen merch like this? Have you ever seen merch like this at all in your life? A Vince McMahon puppet. And when I found out they sold them, I had to get it. I had to get it because it's just like, bro, bro, damn it. 
Um, yeah, it's just amazing, bro. It's just, they had the whole set. Uh, I didn't really want any of the other ones from the Firefly Funhouse other than this one. Because it's, it's such, it's so good, yo. <laughs> it's so good and it's really funny, yo. Over here we have some tickets of mine from shows. We have Dynamite when I went to go watch Bash at the Beach earlier this year. SummerSlam 2010 and SmackDown 2010 as well. Along with this program, it's basically a guidebook. It's a little program that they give uh, that they gave before the show. Right here we have Rainmaker against Omega Okada Omega. The titles, some of the biggest events of the year, and little bios on each of the wrestlers. But yeah, that is... I want to lump these two together just because they are pretty, like, you know, similar. But yeah, those are my tickets to the events I went to. I have some more, I just don't know where they are currently. And my new Japan Pro Wrestling guidebook. I know you've seen this thumb a thousand times by now, you're probably tired of it. And one final thing right here, a Lance Archer towel that he himself personally signed. Um, well, yeah, that's been it for my wrestling memorabilia. There are a couple things that I left out, um, but that's the majority of it. Uh, hopefully you guys liked what you saw. Maybe you saw something that was cool, um, but do me a favor. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Let me know if this is like some sort of content that you guys want to see. You want to see more of me and my face. Uh, you know, let me know if you guys want to see more of my face and more of content like this in the future. Make sure you let it know in the comments section. And make sure, do me a favor guys, make sure that you guys are staying safe out there. Um, mentally as well as, you know, as, as physically. There's a lot of wrestling deaths these past this past week and this it's just awful but um do me a favor guys just take care of each other and take care of yourselves and i've been the excellent reviewer and i'll see you guys as soon as i can goodbye and good night bang